In this video, we are going to finish off with the delete and status change functionality. Okay, let's see what are we going to do in this video. We are going to first create routes and the controllers for handling the delete and status change, right? Okay, then we are going to change the to do items code, the what is it, the to do complete code and to do delete code okay and then i have a, a small error in the application which you know uh, i overlooked in my last video but if you would have figured it out then it's fine otherwise there is a small problem with the uh, you know once we do the delete uh, functionality and that's something which we are going to fix in this video as well okay so first things routes.php i'm going to add two new routes both of them will be post so one is going to be to do delete. We will name it delete to do. And the second one will be to do status and we'll name it change to do status. Okay, so these are the two routes. Uh, let's quickly create the method. So to do API controller. In this, I'll have two methods. First one is the delete to do. I'll need the request object. Request, okay. And the second is change to do status. So, yeah, same goes here. I'll inject the request object and fine. So, what are we going to do in delete to do? I'll first fetch the ID. So, I'll do request input ID. That's something which I'm going to take. And then let's quickly get the to do. So, this is equal to to do where ID is equal to ID and we'll pick up the first one something happened with my code intelligence um, okay I, we already have the to do imported so with that done we can simply do to do delete right and then just to send a proper response we will send the to do with 200 as the response code okay fine so the delete is handled now we'll handle the change status again i will fetch the to do with the id so i can copy this okay i have the to do now any to do will have the status as either true or false right so what i will do is i will check if to do completed equals true then let's make it the opposite so to do completed will be equals false right else it will be true okay uh, you can skip the uh, else part as well by you know first doing it as true and then if it is true then do it false but anyways both of them works so to do save we have updated the to-do object, so we'll do a save and then just return the response. Return response dollar to do two hundred. I mean, you know, see that's the beauty of with uh, Laravel. I mean, the APIs and I think are so easy. I mean, it's so easy to set up these things quickly, and now we'll get back get back to our you know view code. So just to update, we, the first part is done. Now, the only thing is we need to change the implementation for to do complete and to do delete. So, in here, we have to do complete, right? What's going to happen? We're going to make a post request. So, first, we need the post data. So, where post data equals this is going to be an object. I am taking only the ID. So, to do dot ID. This is what I'm going to pass this dot dollar HTTP. Okay. And it's a post request. So post my API for change status was API 
slash v1 slash to do and then status right uh, and that i'll al also need to pass the post data then i'll get the response okay this is the going to be the response and like we have done in our to do add if our response dot status is equal to 200 okay because if you remember we have passed a 200 response and not a 201 201 is generally for successful create so if it's a 200 then what we are going to do is we are changing the to do status in our javascript object and we will also do the catch you know the exception handling simple one so console dot log will say there is an error and we will console log the response so this is done okay and let's quickly copy this as well because the delete part is very similar okay I'm going to send the ID again. Okay, the URL is going to change. It is going to be to do delete. Okay, so I'm sending the post data. And if I get a 200 response, then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut that out and paste it here. So this to do is remove. Yeah, that's about it. And let's save it and check our code. Right. So checking is completed. Okay. Status got updated. If I refresh again, it's the same. I have completed this. I've completed this. If I do a delete, it's getting deleted. This one and this one. And if I add a new one that is getting added as well, but there's a small issue. If I hit the delete now, it will not work. And the reason, if you see, where is the headers? Headers, headers, headers. Okay. So you see the ID is very strange. Okay. <laughs> That's the you know bug which I was talking about. So let's see why this is coming. The ID is strange because in my main.js inside the watch, I have this random thing, right? Which I don't require anymore. This was initially done to when we, when we didn't have any database activity. So instead of that, what I will do is this dot to do's dot push. I can simply do new val and believe me, it will work. Refresh again, the okay new to do added okay this is working and then delete hit refresh and we're back to the same two to do items so yeah that's about it that's how we have implemented the delete and you know edit of individual to do items that's about it guys if you like the videos do click on the thumbs up icon and share it on facebook and other social networking websites and don't forget to subscribe to my channel